the name is associated with a unit that gunned down a hundred British officers. The Death Head. The Toten Kopf. Now, I am about to prove to you that in 1808, no less than 32 years after Adam Weishaupt, 32 years after the American Declaration of Independence and the Revolutionary War, you had the Death Head, 1808, the same year that Johann Christian Reild coined the term psychiatry. This is not a coincidence. Skull and Bones has the same signal. The pirates have the same symbol. Remember, that mafia guy who they caught in a bunker who was affiliated with the Camorras compared himself to a pirate who used the same symbol. The Death Head. The Toten Kopf. 1808. Now at this point, since I'm a Christian, I will give every psychiatrist the opportunity to resign. I will give you until Christmas has passed to resign. And we go on. The tradition of the badges. Selected units within the Imperial German Army were authorized to wear tradition badges on the Kratzchen, worn by Mannschaften, or on the Schermutzi, worn by all ranks. The Lieb Husserin Totenkopf, the famous Totenkopf, death head insignia, famous at that. Symbols, symbolism, emblems, insignias, corporate logos, flags, courtrooms, and so on. I continue. The famous Totenkampf death head insignia first appeared in the Prubin Prussian army with her Sarin regiment NR5, von Rusch, during the reign of Frederick the Great, a real piece of work. Her Sarin regiment NR5 were fitted with black collets, a waist-length jacket with tails with rows of ornamental braiding on the chest and a tall cylindrical shako, which carried a large totenkampf. In 1808, when the regiment was reformed, just like our healthcare system and our mental, our mental institutions and our mental health care system, and mental health within the healthcare system was reformed through psychiatry. A new world order was brought around the same time as the reformations in the first stage of the new world order have begun. And this is yet another new world order to replace the order these guys put up. And it carries on their tradition of death head symbolism in the psychiatry. Now, the first documenting wearing of a Totenkampf on a cap was with Lutz Oesch Freik Orps, who wore a silver Totenkampf on a black beret. I know I killed that name, and I apologize. Now, even though he's probably a piece of work, too. It is not clear what, when Lu Lieb Hasserin regiments, NR1 and NR2, were granted permission to wear the Lieb Hasserin pattern Totenkampf on the cloth headgear, but photographs from the 1860s show it being worn. It may have been authorized as early as 1815. For all ranks, it was worn centered between the upper band piping and the piping along the crown of the back black cap. The silver Leib Husserin pattern Totenkopf was identical for all ranks, I mean for all ranks, from Hussar, which is private, to Field Marshal and Royalty. And, and what? And, 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 and who? And royalty? You mean like the royal families who intermarried from Babylon 
and and the Aryan migrations, the intermarried as well, the royalty are is that what we're talking about here? Continue. Notice in the pictures we have many different styles of the death head. It's worn in the big hat, as I showed in the beginning. It's worn in the little hats. And there's it zoomed in for you. After 1897, when the Reich's cocard was introduced, it was worn centered between the upper and lower cocarden, directly over the band piping, as sh show here, being worn by a hussar from one of the two Lieb Husserin regiments. They mean shown, but it's okay. They are still known. One or two mistakes don't matter. Their idea is correct. Absolutely correct. The identical silver Totenkopf is worn here by Frederick Wilhelm Victor August Ernst. N notice Ernst. Ernst Rudin. Frederick Wilhelm. Kaiser Wilhelm. Kaiser Hospital. Nazi eugenics, Nazi symbolism, tool society, occult, dawn of a new day, rising sun, symbolism, as a Kaiser insignia, because they know that a hospital can't have a death head, now can it? And we go on. September 1883, Totenkopf was authorized by the Brandschweigis Horseren Regiment, NR-17. In 1912, this honor was also authorized for some, another asshole. So, so you see how it's historically being passed on as a German honor of the occult. Now, some of you are going to accuse me of working with people who I know either are a part of this, or are in awe and respect and emulating this. My answer to you is this. I'm not going to judge a book by its cover, but rather a tree by its fruit. I'm not going to expose the occult in institutions like schools, like corrections facilities, like the government, and I'm not gonna go after individuals. I am going after the devil, and I am giving you individuals the same opportunity to repent that I am giving the psychiatrist. Give up your wicked ways. Because God is watching. And you don't have to believe me to know that. Take a moment. Breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. And feel God coming in. And going out. So use your occult trickery, your Masonic magic if you must. But I stand with the Lord, and I am going to do God's will. Not this guy's, who was one of Satan's little helpers. Again, this is not about black and white. This is about the, the battle since the beginning of time between good and evil, light and dark, rather. And I would venture to say that the battle is also between the Freemasons who understand what I am saying and the scum like him. Because I would be a great liar if I did not take out if I did not take the time to note that many Freemasons died fighting scum like this. Thank you very much.